The album literally isn't loading on my Apple Music, so I did just get Spotify. Anyways, um, it's midnight. Well, it's actually two minutes past midnight, and the album's out. So I'm gonna listen to all the songs and give a reaction. There's 13 songs, 35 minutes long. Most excited for True Story, not to sound basic. Uh, how can I tell if I'm in the right relationship? Aren't you really supposed to know that shit? Uh, I'm in your bones, I know your shit. Speechless. Wonder if he's thinking about it too and smiling. I can't. If he knows it, if he's judging me like I am right now. These vocals are impeccable. Oh my god, that was the first song and it was Chef's Kiss. Okay, this is the second song by... Oh my god. This is everything. Oh, this literally makes yes and sound awful because this is so good. Wow, this literally should have been the lead single. This sounds so good. Oh my god, I'm like sweating right now. The vocals, the, the high notes. Boy, bye. It's over. This is a breakup anthem. And thumb. Like, I don't know how the rest of the songs are gonna sound, but I think this is gonna be my favorite on the album, even though I've only listened to two songs. Okay, this is easily my favorite, gonna be my favorite song on the album. No way something's gonna top that. Okay, don't wanna break up again. A lot of people were so excited for this. I think because of the name, I'm also excited, so. Mr. Dalton Gomez needs to watch his back after this. <laughs> oh my. I'm gonna like cry. I'm gonna cry. This, no, no, because this is my favorite album. I'm saying this now. This is my favorite album. This tops everything. Oh my god, I just got shivers. I wish this came out when I was going through a bad breakup Because it could be so much more relatable, but now I'm in a happy relationship lyrically Lyrically beautiful vocally beautiful. It sounds Amazing. I'm just loving how this is sounding. I don't know like music terms, but I love how it like echoes and repeats. Layering, is that like the term? I don't know. The, I don't know terms of like the stutter. I don't know music terms. Ooh. I love when they talk about the whole like sound returns in the Zach Sang interview. I mean Zach Sang is just like an amazing interviewer, so I'm a little biased. Fifth song, Internal Sunshine. I did see a spoiler on a lyric in the song. Okay, I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. Do I dare say I'm not a huge fan? Oh. Okay, never mind, I'm liking it more. Okay, no, I'm liking this now. Okay, no, this song goes hard, this song goes hard. These lyrics. These lyrics. These lyrics. She just sounds so good. She sounds so good. That lyric, hope you feel all right when you're in her. <laughs> also, I haven't seen the movie Internal Sunshine, so maybe that's why I'm not like fully connecting with this song. Like I still like it, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm like missing some context. I'm like already picking up the vibe of this album, five songs in, and I love the vibe. I just love the style and her vocals are just Guys, also, I'm wearing Ren merch. It's like limited edition, but it's way too big on me. It's okay. Slip up, that counts. Okay, we're on the sixth song, Supernatural. Yeah, all these songs are shorter, but... Ooh. Oh. 
Okay. These vocals. Hello? I'm... That chorus is perfect. That is a perfect chorus. Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm like so intensely listening to this and analyzing everything in my head. Oh. Yes. The song keeps getting better. It's a song, the gift that just keeps giving. The gift of the song and it keeps giving. This sounds like it's gonna be timeless. This sounds like I'm never gonna get sick of it. Oh, the ending note, iconic. Okay, true story is next and that is what I'm most excited for. Hold on, there's an ad. Anyways, as the ad is playing, the reason why I'm most excited for True Story is because it's like Ariana's version of Fantasize because Fantasize was written for like an SNL skit, it wasn't actually like her song so she basically like took her fan's advice and made it into a song I just got like full body it's like radiating through my body i'm so excited to hear the chorus this this chorus is gonna go hard okay good size Okay, this is everything. Yep, here we go. This is everything. She is an icon, she's the moment. Oh, the boy is mine. That's up next, okay. This song name, very intriguing, and I'm here for it. No, I pause it. Is this real? Okay, this is the best song on the album. That's it, this is it. The best song, easily. My jaw is literally just dropped as I listen to this. It's so catchy, and it's not catchy in the cheesy way, it's catchy because it's just fire. Okay, that part. Also, can we just talk about the album cover? It's impeccable and perfect. I cannot say perfect enough. Yes and is next. I posted a video like when Yes And came out showing my reaction. So go watch that. And I'm gonna go to the next song. I'm so sorry, I'm skipping Yes And. I know, I'm I'm terrible. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Is this a sad song? Okay, for the third time I'm saying this, this is the best song on the album. Lyrically, vocal, vocal, lyrically, vocally, vocally, however you say that word. Vocally, vocally, however you say it. Best song on the album. Oh. The pause. This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> this song. This is the song. Okay. This is the best song on the album. How is this meant to get topped? Like, how can there physically be a better song than this? I feel like that this music, like the tone of it, just matches who I am as a person. The one thing I love about Ariana is I can grow with her. I've never grown out of her. This music is so mature. It's so healing. And I think that's why I'm like so in love with these songs because I can see myself in every single one of these songs. I think a lot of people can also relate to that. Next song, I Wish I Hated You. This is another title that I am in love with. This instrumental is beautiful. Mm. 
do I dare say that this is the best song on the album? Okay, this song is just beautiful. I'll just put it this way, it is so beautiful. No, because, no, this is my song. This is it. This is my favorite song. And <laughs> I know, I know I keep saying that, but like, it just keeps getting better. No, because this song, my favorite. I think I'm so in love with this song because it's reminding me of Every Time from Sweetener. Okay. Her voice is just... I'm like getting emotional from this. Why, why is that making me tear up? No, I don't cry. No, no, we're not crying on YouTube again. We're not doing that again. I need like a breather after this song, after that song, because I almost cried. This song just feels comforting. This is gonna be like the flashlight song on tour. These vocals are so perfect. It doesn't even sound like real. Like I don't know how to describe them. Like they're so enchanting. Cheers. Ariana's like kind of slower songs are very 50-50 for me. If I love or hate them. This definitely isn't my favorite slower song of hers. But I'm still really liking it. I feel like this song is definitely gonna grow on me. Ugh. That, when she says I'm perfect for you, it sounds like it's from heaven. This is so sad, I'm on the last song. Last song, Ordinary Things, featuring Nona. Okay, okay. This intro, I'm really liking this intro. Mm. I was not expecting that, but in a good way. And this song is giving off her most positions vibes and I don't know why. Ooh. 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 I like it. Not in love with it, but I it'll grow on me. How is every song on this album so good? Like on every album there's always a song that like I'm not a fan of. Like for any artist. This album, there's generally no song that I dislike. This is such a good outro song. Oh, the laugh at the end. Immediate thoughts after listening to the entire album. There are no songs that I dislike. Like I don't see myself disliking any of these songs. My top three in order. My number one is I Wish I Hated You. I think I'm gonna put my, oh my God. I'm gonna put number two by, I think my number three is True Story. I think the song that I didn't connect with like the most was Ordinary Things and Imperfect For You. I don't know why, I think they're gonna grow on me. I think I need to listen to them again and like appreciate the message more. I'm so excited to see what tour would look like for this album. I think it's gonna be such a different vibe in a good way. I think it's gonna be much more mature. I just need like a moment to process everything that just happened. Perfection just happened. I just witnessed perfection right in front of me. All right, I'm gonna edit this video as quick as possible so that people can see my thoughts on it. So let me know what you guys think about the album. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.